came up to the north. Some pink clouds in the north. And that's in the west. Sun's already been set some five minutes ago. I thought it would be a bit more, there was a bit of a thunderstorm. I tried to catch the lightning but there wasn't too much, it was just mostly thunder. And um, I was even trying to catch a double rainbow or a rainbow and I couldn't catch neither. So I just take the 10 minutes looking for something decent. But there wasn't nothing much happening. And there's sunrise again this morning. But I did see that object that I taped yesterday morning. It was five minutes later this morning. And I didn't have the camera ready. But one thing's for certain. It is not a chemtrail. So tomorrow morning at um, another sunrise uh, just before I get the kid ready at 7.15, 7.20 I will um, make sure that I'm out the back with the camera because it's going on see it's coming now when the sun's up at 7.15, 7.20 uh, Whereas I, when I called it before, it was before the sun was up on the same heading trajectory. It was um, it came a bit earlier, about 45 minutes earlier. So I'll get in a good spot tomorrow at 10 past, so 20 past seven, and um, find a good setting and then prove to some of the detractors that. Um, sent some, not nasty, but what they thought were right comments about that it was a chemtrail, a contrail, whereas um, if you want to check my video library, uh, there's a few missing, but I've got well over 200, and I've been at this for over a couple of years now. And I know when there's a plane doing a contrail and when they're starting up at 40 to 50,000 feet that's not a plane doing a contrail it's uh, not something that everybody can pick I must admit that most people can that know this what they're on about and class myself as one of those people so like I have the film from this morning but by the time I got the camera <laughs> I never caught as much as, uh, as I did the day before but um, because I noticed the heading when I go to the week and a half ago it was coming from like over my roof the lookout is just five minutes over the hill from my roof uh, it was heading towards uh, the west sort of and then it buckled around and headed to the south uh, there's a lovely kookaburra making some noise so yeah tomorrow um, we'll see what I What's a contrail? Just 
down to the south east. Yeah, tomorrow we'll sort it all out though, like to climb trail at 50,000 feet. We've uh, claw inside it. Or, we want to test the limits of the P900. And this isn't the average P900, it's had a bit of work done to it. That's why I haven't got a P1000 yet, because I spent so much money on upgrading this one. Um, yeah, we'll find out tomorrow, because I'm interested myself also. But we have an airport, uh, 33 kilometers to... To the west, southwest of here, Kingsford Smith Airport, and no planes come over this sky at 50,000 feet unless they are chemtrails. And this wasn't a chemtrail. All the planes that come here uh, at 5 a.m., the uh, east to west airport is open at Kingsford Smith, Sydney's airport, and the north to south airport's open at 6 a.m. So, I know there is nothing at all that goes over that high. And as I said, I, when I first spotted it, it was after sunrise, I had the white trail. When I filmed it for those couple of minutes going out to sea, it was before sunrise and it had the glowy V trail. I noticed in someone's filming from uh, one of the cameras at Curtin ACT um, two weeks ago, I forget the person's name, but um, they actually caught exactly the same thing that I'm talking about that I caught with the V. <laughs> which I think is the thing that's going to come tomorrow and uh, everyone's questions will be answered and another 12 to 13 hours time okay nothing much happening then tonight guys I'm gonna go I'll sort out what we gotta sort tomorrow morning one way or another praise the Lord love is all by now